The first storyline is coaching and using last season, the 14 and 19 seasons, motivation for UNC entering this year. Shrell, how do you think the coaches are going to kind of approach this year, knowing what happened last year? You know, the same way I think um, teams approach game seven of the World Series, meaning that everything is on the table. So you might bring in Clayton Kershaw in the third inning, and then you might bring in another starter in the fourth. I think they're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that doesn't happen. So if that is starting four freshmen, they're going to do it. If that's starting three bigs, maybe they'll try it. If that's playing exclusively zone, they might do that too. But just basically they're going to leave everything on the table to make sure that uh, this season is better than last. I don't disagree with Sherelle there. However, what I, what I do think Roy Williams has a tendency to do, we know he's stubborn. And when things go south, uh, I think he kind of wonders, you know, did I stray away from what I like to do? And the fact that he's, he's got the bigs now that he wants, I think you're going to see a lot of, of his traditional stylings of making sure he's got two bigs in the lineup all the time, uh, try to avoid having to go small, and then really relying on, on those freshman guards to kind of push the pace. I think the fact that uh, I totally agree with the idea that he, he's so irritated and so frustrated um, that he's really pushing the team. He really wants to make sure that these guys understand that what happened last year, uh, regardless of the injuries, it's not acceptable. And I think we've heard that early in practice that anytime something slips up and, and we see you know, what happened last year pop up, whether it's not boxing out, poor defense, not taking good shots, he's going to call them out on it and he's going to remind them that, hey, that's why we had the bad year that we had last year. That's not going to happen again. And I think that's a key part of how good this team possibly can be. Yeah, and it certainly like serves as motivation for, for the guys who are coming back and for the, the new players as well. Shrell, kind of take us into a practice and what's the intensity level like knowing what happened last year and, and kind of what's at stake this year? Oh, by all accounts, it's, it's pretty high. And I think we're going to talk about the freshmen at, at some point later. Um, but they have a, a don't back down attitude and they all have chip on their shoulders. And I think that's come through in the practices and talking to people around the program. Uh, I, I think that certainly um, they don't want it to happen again either. The players are, were just as embarrassed as Roy Williams was. And I think uh, the bench, we've talked about this all the time, the bench is the greatest motivator. And last year, Roy Williams would look down the bench and he didn't have anybody to take, you know, if, if somebody was playing bad, he had no one to put in. I think that's not the case this year. There's going to be uh, lots of players who can come in and help North Carolina for 10 or 15 minutes a game. Whereas last year, uh, you know, guys had to play extended minutes and maybe – they got fatigued. Uh, maybe they were kind of out of their depth, but I don't think that'll happen this year just because this is a more overall talented roster. Yeah, new year, new, year, uh, new roster, and it seems like Roy Williams will have the, the time players he likes to, to use to do what he, he needs to do. 